my name is Adriana Nava. I'm the president of the National Association of Hispanic Nurses, and I'm a research scientist at the National Committee for Quality Assurance, which is NCQA. So the importance of the work of the commission as it relates to the nursing profession is, in my eyes, I see twofold. The first is to elevate the stories of nurses and their experiences in the workplace, and to highlight those that they're not keeping them just inside with themselves. Second, it's also to make sure we highlight that we're acknowledging what has happened in the past and making sure that we're creating a pathway to address racism in nursing in the future. Racism has been in my own professional journey. Growing up as a Latina and Hispanic in Chicago, um, you kind of didn't notice it as much because it was a segregated city. So you were usually around others that were similar to yourself. And it wasn't until going into the more academic experiences, whether it was high school or, you know, in nursing school as well, noticing that you were the only one. A lot of times that left to feelings of being isolated or feeling lonely. Having those experiences growing up and then going into the professional setting of nursing where Latinos are underrepresented in our profession. And a lot of times if you're interested in leadership for example, like I was, you don't see other Latinas in positions of leadership, specifically in nursing or in healthcare organizations. So you again feel those feelings of being excluded. You don't have resources to help you be uplifted and go into promotions or you know other mentorship opportunities to gain those experiences. I would ask my colleagues that don't think that racism is an issue in nursing to um, try to see outside themselves and try to lean into others and ask about how they're feeling and how you can be of support because sometimes when things don't necessarily impact us or we haven't experienced something, it doesn't necessarily mean that it's not real for somebody else. So I think being available um, to your peers and especially as coworkers, making sure that we create a safe space for individuals to feel welcomed is really important. Important. So we all play a role in trying to create that culture and that space for people to express themselves but also feel safe. My hopes for the future of nursing is for us to start to come together so we're not separate organizations and we can acknowledge our differences but also see that as our strengths. And in order for us to address the larger issues in healthcare, whether it's addressing health disparities, health equity, quality of care, we really need to, as a nursing profession, the largest workforce in the country, be able to come together, understand each other, so we can move forward and tackle these larger societal issues in the U.S.